So, boring story. I'm walking home alone from dinner on Valentine's Day. I'm passing the garage by my local theater. All of a sudden, above me, I hear a girl shout, Go get laid! I look up at the roof and spot teenagers looking down at me. In the moment, I shout back, Go see a movie. You'll be more productive. And then she said, That's true. And then I said, I recommend Deadpool. And then she said, We were thinking the same thing. Great minds. One day, I'm going to meet Ryan Reynolds, and I will shake his hand, then use Purell. The story follows Wade. Whoa, no, not that guy. This guy. The story follows Wade Wilson. Mild mannered, very horny, and he needs help. L. Cancer. Wade tries to get a quick fix. Doesn't work. He gets a serious makeover. Pissed off, he adopts a new name and seeks revenge. People die, and Deadpool, well, he gets turned on in the process. I'm touching myself tonight. Remember life before this movie? There was a white knight, a dark knight, and Robin, but no Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds would change that. He grabbed his acting career by the balls and became a man with self-respect. Bury the past and start fresh at 39 years old. Maintaining a Hollywood career is hard. Starting over happens to God's chosen few. Before Deadpool, I saw potential that was not being properly probed. Then Deadpool came out and Ryan Reynolds became the American werewolf in Hollywood. Except not at all, because that metaphor doesn't work. You know what metaphor does make sense? Aslan. Ryan Reynolds unleashed his inner roar. Directing such a roar could only be done by Tim Miller. Actually, anyone, really. But every other director was off making a Marvel movie. You know what is truly a Marvel? Deadpool is a directorial debut. I've always held a firm belief that a blockbuster tentpole movie should never be a debut. Start small and work your way up. Deadpool is one of those times when I maybe rethink that philosophy. If you've got what it takes, you can make a hit and then get a dream job. That's my dream. Deadpool was Ryan Reynolds' dream. He loves how unique this character is. Unlike any other comic book personality, I love all superheroes, even after their movies aren't good. The awesome thing with Deadpool is you can't rank Deadpool actors. You could if this Deadpool was played by a different actor. Not the case, therefore no issue. This issue is when the world got their first dose of Deadpool. He's been the best worst drug ever since. Don't get me wrong, we love our X-Men, but we love Deadpool more. How could you not with that face? Deadpool may be a made up character, but this is real. We bow to Bill Corso for his contribution. Just imagine being in that all day. You couldn't pay me. Oh, hello. Well, I do declare, Mr. President. Back in the day, it was Jim Giannopoulos. Took him long enough to greenlight this. Thankfully, test footage was leaked and people got excited. He had no choice. Choice casting boosted the quality of the writing when funny dialogue is delivered funnily. Yes, it makes a difference. My respect to the wonderful roster of personalities, especially this guy. The man replaced Jason Statham. It's an honor to have him. Plus, what British actor doesn't want their character named after a dish soap? None of them. But let's look on the bright side. He's not in Bruges. Vancouver, more like it. And it makes the world of Deadpool feel more personal. Contain the mayhem into a neighborhood. One with friends and bullies and that smoking hot girl everyone wants. Ah, no wonder she looks familiar. Revenge is an all too familiar motivation for a superhero. 
Aunt May said it best. I can take you over. Before you know it, turn us into something ugly. That's why it helps to have a blind roommate. Yes, your suspicions are correct. You did see her in that one episode of I Spy. I Spy with my two eyes, one very clever opening credit sequence, made entirely in a computer. If you don't know how movies are made, you'll feel left out, like I was here. I hope they know they could have borrowed one of my Batman watches. Well, either way, I watched out for jokes that would be appropriate for kids. I counted four. That made me worry when a barista at my favorite Starbucks told me her husband showed their seven-year-old son this movie. She called him an idiot, and I tried to reason that was his way of being a cool dad. That was not the reaction she was looking for. Ryan Reynolds and co. wanted to blow people away. Speaking only for myself. Mission accomplished. One day, a couple of years ago, I accomplished my own mission. I saw Deadpool and got a photo. The guy was cool. He said, awesome sweater. I said, thanks. He said, psych. And then I thought, he's Deadpool, he gets a pass. After all, he's a passionate fan. Different people react differently to that kind of passion. You remind me of myself at that age. Bro, compared to you, I am underdressed. Oh dear God, people like you do exist. You ever thought about therapy? Any sequel featuring a time-traveling soldier from the future should be directed by James Cameron. The story follows Mr. Deadpool. After the writers kill off his girlfriend, he obeys their orders and joins the X-Men. Not really. He forms X-Force. They have a very important mission. Save this kid from a fiery adolescence and stop Cable from killing him. Don't worry though, the writers will later make him an ally. They watched Terminator 2 and thought, we should do that too. Deadpool and friends then ride the wave of sequel-itis and prove they're all sellouts. Sequels can be hard, or they can be soft. They can stand proud like the Washington Monument, or go limp like any male body part above the waist. Anybody who thinks Deadpool is a waste of time is likely a fan of Sharknado. No judgment, but have you heard of Jaws? Steven Spielberg will rock your world. In a world where so many superhero sequels already exist, Deadpool is adding one more. He took a risk and brought along Jonah Hex, but now he's called Cable. I caught this in IMAX before Cable. Not IMAX 3D, 2D, glasses free. Even better, I wore my contacts. That makes being in contact with Deadpool that much more intense and sweaty. And Deadpool lives a very intense and sweaty life. Not the kind your parents will approve of, but I imagine respecting their wish is not on your 2018 to-do list. Such a list for a Deadpool sequel has got to feature some weird shit. None of that made the cut, but there will be a director's cut on the Blu-ray. Blue is the warmest color, but Deadpool makes a solid case for red. We have Ryan Reynolds to thank. He was born to play this role. He was born in Vancouver, Canada. Rough town, but he got out safe and sound. A sound mind, body, and soul helped our director navigate the pressure of Deadpool 2. Stunts had been his life. Then, he co-directed John Wick. The industry took notice. Ryan Reynolds did too. With a fresh pair of eyes and a new vision, Deadpool 2 has a different feel to it. Deadpool felt unique. Deadpool 2 feels well-intended. The tone is very ambitious. Greek tragedy meets comedy meets romantic drama meets psychological thriller. All-around period piece. 
The action is way more epic. The self-aware dialogue is more clever. That's just lazy writing. Our newcomer is written like a high school freshman. Very likable on the right day. Full of raw emotion. Born to be the next Alex Owens. Full of hopes and dreams and aiming for a 2.0. Prom is a big maybe. Especially when Juggernaut is your date. Maybe I'm being kind, but this Juggernaut was embarrassing. Vinnie Jones is the man. But this Juggernaut is new and improved and voiced by Ryan Reynolds. Totally CGI, but believable. Would you believe it? Deadpool 2 is Ryan Reynolds' first writing credit. They grow so fast. Aaron Sorkin, watch out. The best writers have a unique style that comes from their authentic person. Ryan Reynolds has mastered the fourth wall break. I used to really dislike it, but I've grown to admire it. Employed for the right story, any style can become part of the attraction. Not the only attraction, but an experience enhancer. These will not enhance your Deadpool experience, but these are a must. Don't forget Deadpool 1, blood relative mate, if I may be British. Domino is bloody brilliant. Ryan Reynolds must have seen Geostorm. And that's why you say yes to a movie called Geostorm. We are looking at a career domino effect. Higher profile, you're lucky to be a part of these projects. It's very in line with her power. She's got meta written all over her, and we like that. Meta allies with meta, allies with meta. That's three metas. Deadpool 3 may not happen, but I can sleep knowing Hugh Jackman thinks Deadpool 2 is a work of genius. I would call the opening and post-credit scenes a work of genius. This relationship is as well. Dopender reminds me of George in Rush Hour 3. No one's asking, but I prefer Dopender. Dopender gets goosebumps, and he knows safety is not guaranteed. I cannot guarantee that you will love Deadpool 2, but think on this. Rob Liefeld compares the shift in quality to Captain America and Alien. That's bold statement making. Two can play at that game. Two notes for possible improvement. Most of them did not land for me, and especially not the one about Martha. Firefist is a victim of abuse, and he wants revenge. Classic tale. Sadly, nothing fresh is done with it. Deadpool 2, for me, is fresh enough. Thank you.